Hello everyone, my name is Dan and I'll be your online STAP teacher this uh, short 10-week term, fall of 2015. I uh, just want to introduce myself. This is a picture of my family. Obviously I'm in the back. This is my wife Sarah right here. We've been married for 20 years and she's a CPA at Wellmark. My son Gavin is in 8th grade at Delson and Grimes. Kalen's in 6th grade and Jensen is in 3rd grade. So Little, uh, I also am a uh, faculty liaison to distance learning, which means half of my job is working within distance learning to uh, support uh, teachers, do some trainings, and uh, help do planning, um, build courses, and things like that. So um, I'm also a uh, club advisor for the faculty fellowship group, group at the Ankeny campus, and I'm in my 11th year at VMAC and my 21st year overall of teaching. Um, I'm a former high school teacher at Johnston and at Baxter. So um, yeah, so I've been teaching online for years, I've taught STAT many times and helped design this course. Um, so if you have any uh, uh, issues with it or any, any suggestions, I'm very open to that as far as design or other things. But I'm gonna spend a few minutes just going over orienting you to the course and the way we'll start. So. I'm just going to start all the way back out here at the DMAC webpage, just in case you're not sure how to log in even. Uh, obviously, here's a link right here for your webmail, um, and I'll be shooting all the announcements out, and I also send them as emails, uh, so be in the habit of checking your DMAC email often. But if you click on this thing here called Online Learning, click on that, and then you hit Access Online Courses, it's going to ask you for your DMAC username and password. I'm already logged in, so it didn't ask mine. So it's usually your first initial, middle initial, last name, and then it's usually the last four of your 9,000 number. Um, if you're not sure, contact tech support at 965-7300. Um, I'll also be, um, the uh, syllabus has all that information as well, but just in case you're not sure, uh, so we're in this, uh, our CRN is 19514, so this is, it should be in your My Courses group, and then I'm just going to go back to where I was. So there it is. Um, so the syllabus is posted here and we're ww6 and i've posted the uh, tentative you know calendar here so you can quickly find it it's also in the syllabus as well um this course is designed for 10 weeks uh, it is I've, I've changed the pace a little bit and i just want to go through that real quick if you look at weeks one and two they're very light and actually the first three weeks are pretty light um you know, do the orientation. The chapter one content is not very difficult. Uh, chapter two gets a little more, and then three is a little bit more. And then there's a test over the first three chapters. The reason I'm doing this partly is uh, in case we have some late ads. I'm actually going to allow students to add all the way uh, until the um, mark where we still have eight weeks less left in the term, and it would allow them to catch up. Um, but this is a, di a little different design. I would strongly encourage you to stay well ahead of this schedule if you're able. This is kind of like uh, the minimum standard. But if you want to accelerate through this course, feel free to move forward. The content is available. I will be allowing you access to things and interacting with you. Um, but this schedule gets us done on to take your final by Monday, December 7th. Um, so. Uh, it is an accelerated course, it's set up, it is a 10 week course, but I've also allowed it to essentially be paced kind of like an eight week course. Um, but you are, I'm totally encouraging you to go ahead of this schedule as well. So if we go under, um, and I, th I think that's pretty self explanatory, the first test needs to be completed by October 25th. Um, the first test will be online, it'll be a PDF on Blackboard, you'll um, either print it off or write out your answers and then you'll submit it to me either by taking a picture of your pages with a smartphone or scanning it and sending it back. In fact, the first two exams will be like that. Um, the last two exams need to be proctored at a DMAC testing center or an approved site. So you're going to have some time to figure that out and we can discuss that as we go. But I just want to give you a heads up that the first two exams, paper pencil tests, there's will be um, ones you can print out, essentially like take-home tests, and then the last two will be proctored. Uh, and those are the chapter seven through nine is on inference, which is pretty difficult, and the comprehensive final, which is over the whole course. So uh, just give you a heads up on that. If you go under course content, there's I've got all the folders open right now. Under start here, 
It's got a welcome announcement. It does have a syllabus quiz for you to take. Uh, kind of orients you to the course as well. Introduce yourself in a discussion board. And then if you haven't taken an online course before, I encourage you to take the Blackboard orientation class. It's uh, just to kind of orient you to Blackboard, how do the tools work, how do you do discussions, um, things like that. So if you have never taken an online course, I would encourage you to do that as well. Um, one thing I'll want in the syllabus quiz, it gives you a point. If you, I'd like to talk to all the students on the phone early in the course. Uh, it is not mandatory that you do that, but I really encourage it just so we can kind of get to know each other, uh, that you feel comfortable, um, and then you, you know that you'd feel comfortable calling me if you had any issues as well. Uh, if you call that number right there, that 964-6882, uh, if you're having trouble logging in or whatever, just go ahead and call it. It actually forwards right to my cell phone. Um, so I try to be as responsive as I can. And um, so this is really, you know, just get you started, get you oriented. We go back out here. And chapters one through three is what the first test is over. We have that organized that way. So if you go into chapter one content, we've got section videos. Um, we've got uh, some animations for you to do. Uh, one negative with some of these animations, we do have sometimes to have some Java errors. And I've got some information posted back here in the uh, frequently asked questions discussions. You know, um, I'll post a thread on there if we're having any issues about how to do that, how to navigate it. So, um, and maybe make a little video uh, helping you change your Java settings if, if needed. Um, the, the one negative thing about this course is when you click on things like the homework thing here, it's, it takes you out to my math lab. And my math lab is wonderful. That's not the negative thing. The negative thing is you will need an access code right away to do this. We don't have a grace period at all in this class. So I know uh, this could be an issue for many of you. Um, the, the, the content here in the first chapter is very light. It's not that hard. Um, and I don't have a hard deadline until week three. So what I would encourage you to do is do as much as you can out of this, do your discussions, learn what you can, um, and if you don't have access to the ebook, which if we go into course content, uh, chapters one through three, it says textbook and review materials. There's a link right here to your multimedia e-text. Um, so if I click on that, this is actually the whole book. Now, many of you will purchase the whole book and it'll come with an access code and you are good to go and it'll, as soon as you come in here to Blackboard it's going to ask you for that and, and you do that and away we go. Um, some of you will just like, no, I just need the ebook. I just need to go, I just want to read, you know, section 1-1 here and you can read it online and go through it. And in fact, there's some interactive uh, learning objects sometimes on these too, like this active stats animation is right here. Sometimes it has practice problems. So it's a very interactive ebook. And that's honestly all you really need. You don't need to have a physical copy of the book, but if you want one, that's wonderful. They have them in the bookstore. This section does have a specific access code for it because it is embedded essentially in Blackboard. Um, so if for some reason that gets messed up, you know, let me know. We'll switch out your codes. It'll be fine. Um, so if you probably the cheapest option is to buy it directly. So when you click on any of those assets in here, if you click on that ebook, or if you click on that homework and it asks you for the code, you can actually purchase it right there. And uh, yeah, so if you're having, uh, if you're not for sure gonna stay in the class because you got a week or so to kind of feel this out, you know, you don't have to do that. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't have any hard deadlines until about week three, uh, but uh, I encourage you to get in there, do as much as you can. And if you know for sure, yeah, I'm on this, this is my course, I'm on it, I'm ready to go. Go ahead and type in those access codes and start working and you can go as far and as fast as you want. So trying to be as flexible as I can based on people's motivations, their goals, uh, their access uh, to finances even right now to do these things. But eventually you will have to have an access code because we do do tons of work in my math lab and um, we actually use it honestly for our stat software too called StatCrunch. So, um, as you can see, there's discussions for you to do, usually in every uh, chapter here to do as well. Um, and so I'm just going to go right to the syllabus now. I hope I've answered a bunch of questions there as far as the textbook. I know that's always an issue. Um, but I do have um, office hours on campus at DMAC in Building 6, Room 19C. If you want me to do an online office hour with you, I can definitely do that during those times or other times, and we can just schedule those things. And, uh, 
I'll send you a link to a live session and we can interact uh, with each other through webcam, audio, whiteboard, and chat. So um, I actually teach synchronous online classes with it and it works wonderful. So don't be afraid uh, to, to set those up with me and then we can actually invite the whole class as well or we can just do them one-on-one. -on -one. So, <clears throat> But if you call during these times, I for sure will answer. Typically I answer all the time. So uh, I just know that's the time when I'm dedicated to have uh, office hours for sure. So. Um, if we go down here to the uh, grading, I think that's usually an interesting thing. You know, 25% is your work, online homework, 15% is your discussion board posts, and then we have three tests and a final. So those first two tests are going to be online, print them off, they're kind of like take-home tests, you submit them on Blackboard. Uh, the, thir the third exam is going to be proctored um, at a site, uh, at a DMAC testing center or an approved testing center, and then also the final. So essentially each test is worth 15 percent of your overall grade um, and again if you go to the end here this is it has the same schedule uh, that's posted on blackboard so except if you want to print that out or not so I hope this uh, little video has helped you get oriented looking forward to uh, you know you all getting in there doing your you know the start here folder doing your syllabus quiz introducing yourself hopefully talking to several of you on the phone uh, this class I think goes really well um, you know just make sure you don't get behind make sure you're doing your work uh, one of the questions in the syllabus quiz asks you what days and times are you going to work on this course so make sure you do that as well um, schedule your time appropriately it's going to take you you know I would say around eight hours a week uh, or so to do the work for this course since it is an accelerated four credit class so it's great to um, I'm looking forward to working with all of you, and uh, like I said, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call that number, that 964-6882, or email me at that dgpetrock at dmac.edu. Have a great day.